हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द मर्चेंट फोर सर्किल डाइग्राम और द मर्चेंट थ्योरी और द मेटल कटिंग और मशीनिंग ऑपरेशन and remember that it is only for orthogonal metal cutting now one is orthogonal metal cutting other is oblique metal cutting one is orthogonal ortho means 90 degree one is orthogonal metal cutting and second is oblique metal cutting now in orthogonal metal cutting the edge of the tool it is perpendicular or 90 degree to the direction of the cutting velocity and in oblique the angle is other than the 90 degree not 90 degree in oblique and equal to 90 degree in orthogonal the direct the edge of the tool it is perpendicular or 90 degree to the direction of the cutting velocity in orthogonal metal cutting and in oblique metal cutting it is not equal to 90 it may be less than 90 or more than 90 first you understand this what is orthogonal cutting and what is oblique cutting now moving on further the for orthogonal metal cutting one is simple that is known as merchant four circle diagram merchant was a you can say scientist and he gave his theory for the metal cutting so you can find out the various forces that are acted and you can actually measure in practical the various forces that act when a metal cutting operation occurs now how and what is a merchant four circle diagram so this is a merchant four circle diagram and here this is the tool this is the cutting tool this is the rake angle alpha all right and this phi it is the shear angle shear angle means along this angle the shearing of the metal chip takes place and fc is the cutting force component ft is the tangential force component when you join these two forces it is said to be r or you can say resultant and this angle is alpha sorry this angle is phi this angle is already i have told alpha this angle is phi or the shear angle and this is the component fs that is the shear force fs that is along this phi angle it is shear force fs the perpendicular it is f normal and again the resultant joining to both of these is r so r is common for ft and fc r is common for ft and fc now this is phi this is alpha so this is also alpha because of the geometrical property because this is alpha so this is also alpha all right and now same by the geometrical property this is alpha so this angle is also alpha this angle this angle is also alpha and this complete angle this complete angle this is said to be beta or the angle of friction so this is alpha this is beta so this will be beta minus alpha this will be beta minus alpha now since this is beta minus alpha this is alpha so this remaining angle it will be 90 minus theta 90 minus beta because this was beta this is 90 and this is 90 minus beta this is alpha and this complete is 90 degree so from that also you can get this as beta minus alpha because this angle plus 90 minus beta plus alpha is equal to 90 degree so this angle comes out to be beta minus alpha or if you are master in geometry so you can directly tell this as beta minus alpha all right so what i am trying to say is that you should get this angle beta minus alpha then 
and uh, one more force is there this is said to be F, F. and this is said to be normal force N and uh, basically we, what we are interested in we are interested in four forces primarily that are the shear force the cutting force tangential force and the normal force these four forces are important and how you can get these forces now let me show you that is the actual use of the merchant circle diagram now from this figure from this triangle that i am highlighting right now this triangle because this is beta this is the angle of friction so from this uh, tan beta is equal to perpendicular upon base the so perpendicular is f and base is n so tan beta is equal to f upon n is equal to mu now mu is the coefficient of friction all right so beta will be tan inverse of mu that means beta is also known as friction angle all right now from this relation from uh, yes this triangle again from this triangle what we can tell about r r it can be written as perpendicular upon hypotenuse so sin beta sin beta is equal to perpendicular is f and hypotenuse is r and cos beta again we can write from this triangle cos beta is base upon hypotenuse so base is m upon r so from here we can find the value of f and r in terms of r so f is equal to r sin beta and n is equal to r cos beta two relations we get all right now we can use this triangle this triangle we can use and we can use this triangle again you apply the same law of uh, the trigonometry that first let me apply in this triangle yes this triangle so again taking this angle that is beta minus alpha we can write tan beta minus alpha is equal to perpendicular upon this perpendicular here is ft and divided by fc ft upon fc that is the tangential force upon cutting force we can write sin beta minus alpha as perpendicular upon hypotenuse so sin beta minus alpha it will be equal to perpendicular that is ft upon hypotenuse that is r and cos beta minus alpha it will be equal to fc upon r all right so again we can find fc equal to r cos beta minus alpha ft is equal to r sin beta minus alpha from these two relations and you divide so you get this relation or the other way around directly by tan theta formula from this triangle we get these relations all right now in the last triangle that is this triangle we are we have to take this complete angle and this complete angle is beta minus alpha plus phi this is the phi angle so this complete angle will be beta minus alpha plus phi so now let me draw one side this is the triangle that i am talking about so this is beta minus alpha this is phi so total will be beta minus alpha plus phi i hope it is clear beta minus alpha plus phi this complete angle so again you apply sin beta minus alpha plus phi beta minus alpha plus phi it is perpendicular upon hypotenuse perpendicular is f n upon hypotenuse is r similarly cos beta minus alpha plus phi it is equal to base that is fs or the shear force upon hypotenuse that is r so again we can get 
एफ एन इक्वल टू आर साइन बीटा माइनस अल्फा प्लस फाइव एंड एफ एज इक्वल टू आर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कॉस बीटा माइनस अल्फा प्लस फाइव सो इन टोटैलिटी वॉट वी गेट वी कैन फाइंड ऑल द रिलेशन जस्ट बाय नोइंग द वैल्यू ऑफ वन इफ यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एनी वन वी कैन फाइंड द अदर्स यूजिंग दीज फॉर्मुलेशन सिंपल ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एंड दिस वी आर जनरली गिवेन दिस यील्ड शीय स्ट्रेस ऑफ अ मटीरियल वी नो दैट इज द यील्ड शीय स्ट्रेस डिनोटेड बाय टाउ सफिक्स एस टाउ सफिक्स एस डिनोट द यील्ड शीय स्ट्रेस ऑफ अ पर्टिक्युलर मटीरियल इट इज डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट मटीरियल एंड द शीयर फोर्स और द एफ एस it is equal to shear stress into area that is the area at which this shear stress acts now this area is so fs can be written as tau s into area is the width width means the depth b into the thickness of the chip chip thickness upon sin phi now how this comes t upon sin phi because the chip thickness it was chip thickness is this this amount of chip is formed so suppose this is t1 and this is t so you can use this triangle small triangle so sin phi it is perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is sorry this is 90 degree this is hypotenuse and this is perpendicular suppose this is t1 this is t2 so sin phi it is perpendicular up upon sin phi it is perpendicular that is t1 upon hypotenuse that is t2 now t2 that is now we are dealing with orthogonal orthogonal cutting so we will be talking in the direction of the cutting velocity now direction of cutting velocity is always along the that is the direction of cutting velocity is this in the negative x direction this is the direction of cutting velocity so we will be talking about the area that the shear force that the shear stress that acts on that area that would be along this axis so if you visualize this this area means this area if you visualize this area in 3d this area in 3d that means if you extend it backwards like this in 3d in hypothetical situation because we are we can draw in 2d but in actually it is 3d so this area this area that would be that would be this distance multiplied by this distance and this distance comes out to be t2 as earlier i have shown you so t2 will be t1 upon sin phi that i have written here or t upon sin phi and this distance this the depth is denoted by b so b into this distance so that would be area upon which the shear stress was acting so fs is equal to tau s into b into t upon sin phi we already know in questions this phi value and generally we know b value or we take one and we know t value so we can find out fs then the remaining values can be find out remaining forces can be find out and uh, you can easily find the remaining forces just by finding the value of fs
I hope you have found the video helpful. If you found the video helpful, please press the like button, please share this video, and please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below. Do check the description once for more of my social media links and other video links. And uh, till next time, take care and bye bye.